What's up, YouTube? This is our second video on the channel, and I know we said this one was going to be a uh, pitching tips video for Pinpoint and how you should pitch with, uh, you know, basically every pitcher. But I've gotten a lot of questions about my create a player, okay? And uh, I worked for a while on him. That's that new ball player that they added, and these things can get really good. Truthfully, I believe that I have made the best creative player that anyone has made this year. Uh, I found the great perks and everything that you need to make this guy just absolutely juiced. So we're going to have that pitching tips video coming soon, but I really wanted to get this out there. I've had a lot of people asking me questions about it, and I just wanted to help you guys so you can get a jump start on this and get these guys as juiced as possible as soon as possible. So I will show you guys uh, my creative player here. It is Brucey. I know it says he's a 65 overall, but that's just a glitch in the game. If anybody's played Diamond Dynasty before, uh, you know that that's just a glitch. But I will show you his stats quick, which we can do by going to play versus the CPU. And it doesn't matter where we play. We're not actually playing this game, but there's his stats, guys. We got 121 contact both sides of the plate. 116 power both sides of the plate 95 fielding 93 arm 88 reaction and 81 speed this guy is juiced it is the best card in the game and i don't even think it's close he's also a switch hitter obviously and uh 95 fielding guys that's diamond defense at shortstop and uh diamond defense wherever we want to play him because the archetype we have once you get it to diamond you can play them at any position you want not named pitcher and that means even in his secondary positions, he's going to have 91 fielding, still giving him that diamond defense. Uh, he's got the great arm strength, so he can make those tough throws from short. Or if you wanted to play him at third, you could also do that. The reaction is still really good. I couldn't get it up to 90, unfortunately, with what I wanted to do. But 88 reaction is still going to be more than enough to get the job done, guys. Um, so my idea for this video is just to go through the entire process on how to get him how to get your guy to where i am now and uh it's it's a little bit of a grind guys i'm not gonna lie but uh if you turn on a nice movie and just sit back and relax while you do it it goes by a little quicker but i mean when you look at these stats it's it's worth it in the long run it, it truly is worth it in the long run if you want one of these guys sitting on your team uh, he's going to be my shortstop for a while, and, you know, if somebody comes along, like a 99 Fernando Tatis like last year, where I'm like, wow, I really want to play that shortstop, I have the ability to move him wherever I want, and I don't have to restart, I don't have to uh, start a whole new position or player, I can just plug him in wherever I want on the field, as long as he's not pitching. So, we're going to go to Road to the Show. And I am going to show you guys the general process for doing all of this, okay? And what I did exactly. All right, so I know it says he's 92. We are going to go and move him, not move him, but uh, put him on bronze spark plug. Everybody gets the bronze archetypes to start once you create your player. I started with bronze spark plug, okay? And we'll take the diamond perks off. Perks aren't really relevant right now. They are in the at the end once you... Uh, get him to uh, diamond but for now we'll just throw some uh, bronze perks on there and I will show you guys what you need to do so you click square on it and it brings up the program and this will show you the bronze spark plug program and once you get to 100 points on it it's going to bring up the silver you get all three of these so not a big deal it's not like you have to choose one but the one we are going to do is the uh, slugging spark plug okay so you get speedy slick and slugging the one you're gonna want to work on after you get done with the bronze program is slugging spark plug okay and uh, once you oops sorry about that okay so once you get this again you're gonna have to go into the program and you're gonna start from scratch you're gonna be at zero out of 100 and you are have to work all the way back up again to get your gold one and your gold one, you're going to get the tool shed and the hawk. The one we want is the hawk. This is primary contact, secondary power, tertiary uh, defense. Okay. And then again, you're going to have to go from zero to 100. And then you get the diamond hawk, guys. This is technically as far as you need to go to get to the archetype that I had. But uh, there is one more program you can do once you get the diamond one. 
and we'll show you that here. And uh, once you get the diamond one, there's one more program and you get two diamond equipments and a diamond perk. Now guys, these diamond perks are not easy to come by right now. They are in very high demand. It is very hard to get people to sell them. So I do recommend uh, grinding out that final program once you get to Diamond Hawk. Plus these diamond equipments sell for a lot. And also if you don't have uh, diamond equipment on your character already, they are also very important. Um, you could even get like the legendary call in here, which will save you a bunch of stubs. It is by far the best ritual to get. And it is uh, super expensive. I think when I bought it, it was like 60,000 stubs. So highly recommend doing that. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys. You go from zero to 100 in the bronze spark plug. And how you do that is road to the show missions. And plate appearances, hits, one hit, 25 hits, 50 hits. Now the 24 plate appearances and the eight hits are repeatable. So as soon as you get to 24, you're going to go back to zero. You'll get the two points and you'll get to do it again. Same with the eight hits. The one hit, the 25 hits, and the 50 hits are not repeatable, but you do get 35 points. So you're going to get a lot of points towards your uh, program here by doing them. I found getting going from bronze to silver was by far the longest of the processes. It took a while, uh, but after you get to silver, it becomes a little bit quicker. I don't know if that was just... Uh, how it actually is or if it was just me starting to get a a rhythm down or whatever but uh so what you're gonna do guys is you're gonna go play next game uh choose your archetype we're gonna choose the bronze one obviously for this one and uh this process is gonna go by a little quicker if you have a next gen console ps5 uh or one of the or the xbox but if you have an xbox one or ps4 you can still do it it's just gonna take a little longer because loading in and out of games is a little slower but all we do, guys, is we just get to the screen, sim to the end of the game. That's all you have to do. Sim to the end of the game. And we went one for four with a hit. So we got four plate appearances there, and we also got a hit. Uh, now, normally, you would just play next game and then confirm advance, you know, get the entire series done before it kicks you out to the clubhouse. For the, perp, uh, for the sake of the length of this video, I'm not going to do that, but just realize, do the entire series. Don't load to the, out to the clubhouse every game. You can just go straight into the next game. Obviously, we don't really have anything up to level up yet. That regress, not a big deal. Um, but, yes, you are going to repeat that process over and over again and tally your road to the show stats to level up your archetype. Now there um is a glitch in the game guys right now that has not been patched okay so let's say you came out ours did ours tracked let's say we come out though and you're like none of my play appearances tracked none of my hits tracked what happened well there's a little glitch in the game right now with road to the show uh missions not tracking and until we have a patch there's not really a lot you can do about it but there is something you can do to get them to start tracking again and all you have to do is, hold on a second. We go out and we're gonna go all the way back to Diamond Dynasty, okay? Once you get to Diamond Dynasty, you're gonna head over to your squad and you are gonna make sure he is inserted in your lineup and hitting leadoff. So he is, we have him hitting leadoff. And then you're gonna go to play burst, CPU, Orioles, doesn't matter. Just make sure you're the away team so that way you're batting first. And then none of this matters, just you know, click on whoever. We're going to load into the game. And as soon as we get in, all we are going to do, guys, is just simply bunt out with our, with our creative player. So bunt out. Done. You can hit, do whatever you want. If you want to hit a tank, go for it. Doesn't matter. You just have to get to the next guy in the lineup. So at the next guy in the lineup, we're just going to quit. Simple as that. Now your road to the show missions should start tracking. And uh, they should be good for a while. Next time you log in, you might want to check. Basically, every time you close the app and reopen it, you should be checking to make sure that those uh, missions are tracking after the first series you go into. There is still one more vital part of information that you guys need to know about this. Something I didn't know at first, and it took me a little longer because of this. Realize you cannot sim 
from the calendar, by the way. You have to go into the games and sim them from there. If you just sim from the calendar, none of your missions are going to track. But every off day, you are going to get to go to practice. You're going to get to do uh, go to the batting cages. Uh, I think you can go to like uh, the field and work on your fielding and stuff like that. Or you can go to the weight room. And all of these stats uh, start at 30, and they can go up to a base of 50. 50 is the highest they can go in Road to the Show. And you need to get all of the important ones up to 50. Because all of that translates over to Diamond Dynasty. So say uh, all of mine are at 50 right now. Say all of mine were at 40. Then the stats I would have shown you at the beginning of the video would all be down 10. Okay? So I... Every single time you get into a practice, make sure you are working on the important stuff. You know, I highly, highly recommend checking training every single time and seeing if you can upgrade your power. Because power was the one that did not show up for me very often, so it took a very long time to get it up. Uh, every time you have a chance to bring up your power, I would. And then I would focus on the six main statistic uh, attributes that you're going to want to bring up, which are contact, power, fielding, arm strength, reaction, and speed, okay? Don't worry about base running aggressiveness, okay? I'm not going to worry about stealing, because I don't plan on stealing with this guy that much, but if you if you are, then you can. But those six are the main ones that I focused on bringing up as much as possible. Uh, and once you get those to 50, they are capped out, and that'll really help towards the end uh, when you finish keeping all your stats really high. That just about does it i do want to show you guys what perks i personally went with uh perks are very they're they're very mix and matchy that you don't have to have the same as mine i just thought these were the best for me at shortstop uh so i went with power seven fielding six contact six and power two i believe but uh anyways those are the perks that I went with because they're the best at shortstop. You are going to have to buy a lot of these from the market. I had to put up ones. I had to put up buy orders on the marketplace, and I just woke up the next day and they were there, you know. But uh, other than that, guys, that's about it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Tell me your guys' road to the show uh, name. You know, tell me his character's name if you guys have any funny ones, and. Uh, that's about it guys if you have any questions like i said leave them in the comments if this helped you in any way shape or form please drop a like on the video and uh subscribe to the channel please that would really help me out a lot if you ever ever want to catch any of this stuff live you can come and hang out with us at on twitch at t layton 3 that link will be in the description below and yeah guys that's pretty much it that's the, that's the gist of getting your cap from A to B from the beginning to where I am at. It's a little bit of a grind, I'm not going to lie. It's going to take a little bit of time to do, but he's the best player in the game, man. He, he's, he's really the best player in the game. Thanks. That's about it. Bye.